Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dino Drafsky. Or is it Dino Drafsky? I'm sorry guys, I'm not sure. So, I'm just going to be calling him Dino, but let me know in the comments if you think it's pronounced Dino, in which, uh, if it's, in which case I will call him Dino Drafsky, if you guys really think that is his name. I'm not sure, I'm just going to be calling him Dino. So let me know guys. So when I introduce him into my Cars Adventure series, I could, uh, know what his correct name is. No one knows what his correct name is, if it's, uh, Dino or Dino. Well, guys, anyway, let's get started with the review. Here you can see Dino there in, in the package, and his name tag right there, of course. And then a pretty nice picture. You can see that there is a bit of an ac inaccuracy with the diecast. He has a darker blue than the picture of himself. And on the side, you have, uh, Piston Cup Racers, because that is a series he's a part of. I don't have any other cars from this series. Well, any other new releases, I have Jack the Post and Rex Reveler, but from their uh, releases last year. So this is my first character from Piston Cup Racers. I also have Rev Rotages, but I do not have a Marcus Kranzler. So here you can say, here you can see, rookies and racing legends alike compete to win the coveted Piston Cup. And then you can get a picture of McQueen, Bobby, and Cal not racing. It, this is about Piston Cup racers. There's no visible racing here. It's just the three of them upset about Jackson Storm, which I think would have been a cool picture for the Next Generation series. I don't know, guys. Anyway, though, there's tape on the bubble, which means sadly I'm gonna have to cut the uh, I'm gonna have to cut the video so that I could open them up, and I'll be right back, guys. I don't know what's up with Mattel and putting tape on the bubbles this year. It happens all the time. Some some years and doesn't some other years. I don't know, guys. It doesn't really matter. It's just that if you want to keep the car's packaging, which I do, I like displaying the car's packaging, then it's kind of hard to do. You have to be really careful or just use scissors. I don't know. I, I did both. I used scissors and was very careful to open up Dino here. Or Dino. I don't know. I'm not very sure what Clutch Aid does, but you could see a picture of a bandage on the Clutch Aid logo. Uh, there's no slogan on the back, so who knows. I don't know if the Cars 1 Clutch Aid says anything. I believe that was Kevin Shiftright. It was the Cars 1 variant. Now, the disappointing thing about uh, Dino, or Dino, whatever. I don't know, guys. Is that, well, Kevin Shiftright... Each of his relatives, the Meet the Cars book talks about his different relatives and how uh, he had relatives who were race cars named Kurt and Kai and a bunch of, I don't think Kai was one, but I think Kurt was one, a bunch of names that started with K, so I was really, really hoping that Dino's name here would start with a K and he could be a Shiftwright, maybe Kevin Shiftwright's son, but sadly, that's not the case because he is Dino Drafsky. So here you can see he's got a kind of confident expression. He's the Bobby Swift model. You can tell because he has these little air scoops at the bottom. He's grinning. There's the grill and the headlights. And again, the new and improved Clutch Aid logo, which I think looks pretty cool. It looks like a bandage, Clutch Aid, and then a plus sign in between. And here you can just see a little swirl there. And you can see it's a much lighter blue, kind of a white down here. And on the side, you have the number 121. The 2 kind of looks like a Z, in my opinion. And I believe that is the same number as Kevin Shiftwright. So on the side, you have Piston Cup, Vitaline Revolting, RPM, Nitroid Octane, and Clutch Aid. And his tires look pretty cool. There you have Lightyear and Clutch Aid, along with the gas cap, which sadly, as always, covers up some of the letters. You also have white all around the back and a little bandage logo down there. And Clutch Aid up there again, and Clutch Aid back here, along with the race camera. And sadly, again, no slogan, so we don't really know what Clutch Aid does. It's probably just a bandage brand. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Sadly, his next-gen counterpart is not out yet, but I believe that the Disney Store does have a variant. They do have the Clutch Aid tractor. I believe he is out now, maybe. I'm not sure. I do have the Rich Mixon tractor right here, or as he's known, Tank Coat Tractor. So, anyway guys, we don't know what the Clutch Aid tractor's name is going to be. I mean, the next generation Clutch Aid, we don't know what his name will be, sadly. 
Also, uh, not only because the tractor hasn't released yet, also because they don't even put down the name of the next gen on the Disney Store packaging. They just called the um, tractor tanko, tractor tanko, not tractor rich mixin. So we don't really have any answers coming out anytime soon about the name of the next generation clutch aid, but that's alright. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.